The latest DV feature that I'm gonna be talking about in this video is going to help you design websites faster and also make the process of designing websites even more exciting. Let me show you what this feature is. So before I do that, I just wanna show you here that uh, you need to make sure you're running the latest uh, DV update. So to check if you have the D latest uh, update, you wanna come over here to updates, just click on this area here. And once this refreshes, it will give you an idea of what version of uh, Divi you are running. So in my case here, it says all your themes are up to date, but if you haven't updated, you're going to see an update here. So I can't wait to show you where this feature is. So let's just open up a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. So I'm just gonna call this page Layers view, because that's the feature. So I'm just gonna close this. So we're gonna call this layers. And then I'm gonna click use DV Builder. So in the first example, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a pre-made layout. And then in the next example, I'm gonna actually show you how to actually use it as you're designing your websites from scratch. All right, so here, what we're gonna do is choose pre-made layout. And then what I'm going to do is to just choose any layout from uh, this. It doesn't really matter, you know, which one, you know, you go with. So I'm just going to scroll through here and see what I can work with. So let's go with, you know what, let's go with this one here. So I'm going to choose that, use this layout. And now my layout is being uh, downloaded now onto my page. Now, as you look at this, you may be thinking, well, where is this layers view feature? So at first glance, it's actually quite difficult to find where it is. So it took me a bit of time to, uh, to locate it, but if you want to uh, really look at it, it's down here. This is where it is. So next to the search icon, it's right here. Sometimes you may not see it because expand settings here is closed. So if that is closed, I mean, definitely you won't be able to see this layers view. So you have to click on these three little dots and then it's gonna open up and this is where we have our layers view. So I'm gonna choose here, I'm gonna click here on the layers and this is what it looks like. So at first you'll be thinking, well, what the hell is this? So basically what this is, is a breakdown of each section here on your website. And when you click on this little uh, toggle here, it shows you what's in here and you can actually go in and start working on it. So you can see here on the features, it shows you the rows. And if I collapse the rows, it shows me the column. And in that column, it shows me that I have a text module. So this is really cool. But how to actually use this is, I mean, it's quite simple. Let me show you the first uh, instance that you'd want to use this in. So before we had this layers uh, view, imagine if you wanted to uh, drag this uh, section all the way to the top. I mean, to be honest, this is, you know, quite tricky and uh, sometimes it doesn't work really well. But now it is actually really cool because all you have to do is to come over here and just bang, just drag it all the way to the top. And now you can see the testimonials is all the way to the top. If you want to rearrange it and um, let's first, let's take a look at the testimonials. So here they are. So let's say you want this hero uh, area here to be back to the top and then the sections next. We just drag it on the top. Now we have our hero area here. And now you can see that it's easy to do. Now, there's also more that you can actually do here. You can actually delete stuff from here. So let's say you wanna delete this section here. You can just go bang, gone, it's deleted, you know? And that's easy, fast. Now, let's say you want to actually go into uh, this featured section and make some changes to it. If you click on this gear icon, it takes you straight here to that actual section. So we, without actually scrolling to it, it just takes you straight there. And then once you're there, you can actually go in and make your changes as you normally would with Divi. So let's say now you want to make some changes to, let's say an element here in this column. And let's say it's this text, you can just go in, click on that, and then it takes you straight to where that text is. And this is the actual test. Text, uh, leading dealer in new and used cars. So that's where it is. And uh, you can actually duplicate this as well, like that. And you can see you're actually doing this in the layers view, which is pretty cool. So if you want to delete anything, you can just delete it like that. 
Now, this is also feature rich. If I right click on this, look at that. It looks like I'm actually editing everything in the actual builder itself. So it has the redo, undo, save to library. It has copy module, extend, uh, extend options. It's just, you know, uh, it just pretty much has everything that you need here. So you can also make styles default right here from this layers view. All right, so moving on, what else can we do um, other than just dragging sections where we want them and deleting them? Well, you can actually go in and name and rename these, uh, these sections. So as you can see, at the moment that you click it, it actually takes you straight to that actual section. And that's really, really cool. Now, the other thing which I always found quite difficult or quite frustrating, to be honest, is not being able to go into the uh, settings tab as you're designing your website. Now, let me show you what I mean by that. So if we take a look here at this page, so let's say I want to go here into my section settings. You can see that it's really hiding there. So normally what I would do is I would come over here to my wireframe view and then I would go into my settings that way and then switch back over here to the front end editor. So as you can see, those are three, four clicks that I've just done. So we can actually save time by using the layers view because this will just locate, uh, it just locates what I need to actually work on. So let's do that one more time using the layers view. So let's say, I'm over here on the maintenance thing and I'm scrolling. As you can see here, this is time wasted scrolling. So I can just go bang right there. That's my hero area. That's what I need to work on. And if I can't access it here and I can't access the, uh, the uh, row settings, simple. All I have to do is to click here on this drop down and bang, I'm into my row settings. Now I can go in and make my changes in my row settings. Now, here's the thing that you may not... Um, be aware of and that is when we work with this layers view we can actually go in and rename all our sections now the reason why my sections here are named it's because i am using a pre-made layout now let me show you what it looks like when i actually start designing my website from scratch right so over here now let's say i want to add a brand new uh section i would uh come over here and click on this plus button and then let's say I add a regular section, a single column. And in that column, I'm going to add, let's say, an email opt-in. Okay. We're not going to go ahead and design this. Uh, this is just for demo purposes only. So let's say I save this. So pretty much this is what I've done. I've just added an email opt-in. So if I take a look here at my, uh, at my layers, you see that we have this section right here. So this is the one that I've just added. And to prove that this is the one, I am just going to drag it all the way here to the top. Then I'm just going to click on it. And you can see it's right there. So that's the one I've just created. So if you don't rename it, it's just going to come in as section. And let's say I add another one. And again, this is going to be a regular section, two columns. And in one of the columns here, let's add... Uh, let's add a button. Okay, so that's a button. I'm going to save that. So you can see here now I have two sections that are named section. Now, this is not really good because it's going to be very difficult for you to locate which section it is that you're working on. So ideally, what you want to do is to go in and rename these sections as you're building your website. It's good practice. And if you're working on so many websites, you can always go back to a website and automatically find out where things are. So let me show you quickly how to actually go in and rename this. So this, since this one here is the email opt-in, I can just click on here and just rename this. So I'm just going to go in here and call this section email opt-in. This one here is the button. So I'm just going to call this button section. And again, it may be a good idea to name them. The name that you... Uh, that's that you want which has the contents inside so i would call this maybe button section so if it's a testimonial section you always want to name it testimonial section and so on so as you can see now this is now easier for me to find so i can drag this wherever i want so let's say i want it below the features 
Now I've just dragged this email opt-in on the features. And for me to locate it now, I don't have to scroll and try and find it. All I have to do is to click on it and it just automatically goes there. So now I can go in, perhaps maybe add a background color here. So I'm just gonna add a very light gray like that so I can see where my section is and then save. So that's one way or that's the best way to actually use this feature right here. Now, let's say you want to make further changes to this. So what you can do here is to right click and then say, go to layer. So you can see here that this is a new addition to our right click here. So if I click on go to layer, now you can see it's highlighted my features uh, section. So I can now go in into my settings and do whatever I need to do here to further customize this. So you may be thinking, well, why do I need to come over here if I can just go and do my uh, edits over here? So let me just give you another example here that would actually work. So let's say I right click here and say, go to layer. So now it shows me exactly where my row is. And now I can go in and start working on this. Maybe I need the second column here. I can click on this on the settings and now I can start working on that particular column. So let's say I add a color and I'm just playing around with this so you can see what I'm actually doing here. So this is how you would use this. So as you can see, this is going to pretty much make the web design workflow even much easier and even more fun to design because back in the day, if you wanted to drag things on long, long pages, I mean, sometimes the scroll doesn't work and if you don't have a really good mouse, <laughs> and I used to be in that same situation, it's very difficult to like locate things and it can be very frustrating. But now with the brand new uh, layers view, it's much easier now to drag stuff, uh, duplicate stuff and you know work faster now in Divi. And by the way, if you haven't bought Divi yet, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my Divi course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.